Yeah, Randy, tonight we're learning that three officers from Richfield and two officers from Edina are on a routine administrative leave after the shooting. We're also learning that the chiefs from both departments specifically asked for the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office to take over the investigation to remove all bias from the case. Besides the video, police say Quinones recorded himself and streamed live on Facebook, finding other angles of the shooting may be difficult. Edina police say they are working to get police body cameras next year, but right now no officers on the department currently wear them. Richfield police say only some of their officers wear them as they phase in body cameras, but they don't know if the officers in this case were among them. But both agencies say their squad car dash cameras were rolling during the shooting, so there's a chance one of them may have caught it on camera. Pictures are valuable, video is valuable, but it's not the end all and be all. Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman will take over the case once the sheriff's office wraps up its investigation. He says video not only helps investigators and prosecutors, but also provides transparency to the public. He wouldn't say when he would release video in this case, as he still hasn't seen it himself, but says his office is currently following a policy set forth by the state of California that says all video must be released to the public within 45 days of the shooting. We want the people who are around the scene to to give statements to us about what they saw. We don't want it to be based on what they think now that they've seen the video. Now this will be the 20th officer involved shooting here in Minnesota this year. 18 of them have been investigated by the Minnesota BCA. Two of them have been investigated by the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office, including this one. At this time, the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office is not commenting on their investigation. All right. Thank you, Gordon.